Hmm, good day, Tragic here, and welcome back to Legends of Andor. We are playing the latest legend. This is Legend 3, just installed into the mod. I had so much fun, I can't stop playing. And I've done the setup in the last video, so if you want to see how everything gets set up and all the randomness and me go through the hero powers, it's in the other one. Now, Legend 2 Darkness Ascends pretty hard. We have an unknown boss that comes out later in the game. And so the quicker we figure out how the what the boss is, the quicker we can work out how to deal with it. Now, the boss comes out after we complete all these uh, fate cards, which are basically, you know, conditions for each individual player. Now, we di this, the thing about this quest that's really bizarre with uh, Legend 3, especially after doing Legend 1 and Legend 2, is that there's so much randomness in this version. Uh, you start off by drawing these five monster tokens, which are different each time, and then you place five tokens here, and they can be different positions and everything. Uh, and we didn't get a particularly good roll. Like, you know, like our setup wasn't particularly great. We've got three gigantic trolls right here, which are badass monsters. I mean, they're 14 strength and they've got, what, 12 health. So basically, in the early game, if we're all fighting at once, like a whole lot of us, it's still going to take about three hours per troll until we start getting our strength up. And these guys aren't that far from the castle. Now, the biggest problem is that usually you've got three locations to three peasants, like three uh, shields up here, because there's one shield and two peasants. But we have to draw this horrible fate card that kills one of our peasants. Basically, it adds a peasant to the table, and then we need to escort that peasant and another peasant to space 57, and then they're both discarded. So even though there's three peasants on the board, we can only ever count on having two shields. Now, two shields isn't a lot when we've got to deal with three gigantic trolls in the early game, and there's a cat monster here that's doing double moves. So this guy is going to get into the, into the castle like in one turn or two turns. So we have to be very, very careful with how we do our planning for this round. So let's just uh, have a quick look. The, the Another big problem, actually, is that the Centaur and the Ranger both have fate cards that require them to kill monsters alone. This one, I need to defeat two monsters before the legend marker reaches F, which I've marked here, right? So once we reach there, we failed the game if he has not killed two monsters by himself. So that is our number one priority because that ain't far away. And we, we rolled a terrible roll like the, the prince is at level one, which means he's basically useless because the prince actually counts as aiding another character. So what that means is if we can't use that plus four strength to help the ranger kill things, you know, which means that all the all the monster murdering we're going to do in the early game, we can't use the prince for, and the prince disappears here. So basically the prince is uh, out of this game, which is really, really frustrating. So we don't have that advantage. <laughs> and this guy has it uh, even more bizarre. This guy's, uh, he has to also kill a monster by himself, but this time it's a scroll. Now, scrolls are six strength and six health. So, they're not trivial. So, it's going to take us a while for him to get enough power to kill him by himself. So, what we need to do is make sure that the scroll spawns far enough away from the castle because the scroll, because of the fate card, will spawn wherever our first runestone is revealed. Now, we have a runestone right here next to our archer, and we've even got one right here before we even move underneath our warrior. 
But if we actually reveal either of these guys, then the scroll will be placed in either of those locations, which means it's only one, two rounds, one, two, three, four rounds to before we lose the game. Remember, we want to use those shields to get rid of the first troll and to get rid of the horrible cat monster. So it's not good. It also means if we pick up this farmer here with the archer and then pick up this uh, runestone, when the scroll spawns, it's actually going to kill the farmer because whenever monsters and farmers exist in the same space, the farmers get destroyed. So these two are basically out of play for the beginning of the game. Luckily, we do have some runestones up here. So we're going to come in, pick this one up and spawn the scroll here. That's going to give us quite a long passage as he goes all the way down this way, like so. So once we do that, I think we'll be in a lot better position. I don't think I can actually make my drawings thicker, but uh, whatever. The point is we're going to spawn him up here. So that is basically what we're looking at. So the question is, how are we going to do this? Oh, and there's more. There's more. These guys here are the best option for our archer to kill because they're gauze and weak. But they're only like two two days and they're in the castle. And remember, we don't want these guys getting in the castle because we want the ogre and the cat to get into the castle because they're tough to kill. So somehow... Like, and if we come over here, you can see that turn one has two tiles. So we don't know what's going to be on there. So with, so we're going to kill one monster. We're going to, yeah. So we need to kill at least two monsters in turn one, hopefully, and get to see one monster with this, this guy to, to satisfy his thing, which says, Defeat two monsters when, you know, to, to complete this fate card. So, yeah, lots of really annoying stuff. But let's have a quick look at something even worse. <laughs> and this is what you've got to do in this game. You've got to really plan ahead. So imagine that I just... Imagine I kill these two monsters. So this monster here and this monster here are both dead, okay? So at the beginning of the next turn, assuming no other monsters spawn, because remember... Who knows what these uh, chips are going to be. There's two chips here, remember. This guy's going to move to here. Right? And remember, there's going to be a scroll. Assuming that I choose to do this, there will be a scroll in here. Maybe I'll have to delay the scroll a whole nother turn. But this scroll's going to be here, right? So what happens is, if he moves here... Then it's the scrolls move. The scrolls going to go bam, bam to here because the monsters are there. Then the uh, trolls are going to, uh, then the cat's going to move and bam, bam to here. And then the ogre's going to move bam, bam to here. And then the cat's going to move bam, bam into the castle. So that is what we're looking at for monster movement at the end of this round, assuming nothing is getting spawned. Right, I'm just going to reload the, the game to make sure all the monsters are in the correct positions. So that is horrendous. But if we kill this, if we kill this guy, it's a very different story. So if we kill that guy, it's scroll moves, cat moves, troll moves, cat moves. Basically gives us two turns because the next turn cat moves, troll move so we have quite a while to deal with this we're going to hopefully let that guy into the shield so the upshot of all that planning is we have to kill this guy otherwise it's basically game over okay so this guy's going to be killed we need to kill one of these guys and then we can kill the next one in the next turn so he has to end his turn on here, right? After killing 
one of these guys. So he's got to stop here and then move into there, preferably. This guy can kill this guy by himself, but see, basically he's got this ability where he can drop their strength down, but even dropping the strength down, you know, we basically just have a plus two advantage on every die roll versus the gore. Not even that, considering the gore gets to roll two dice. So even though it's not too out, it's not too hard to believe that the assassin can take out a gore by himself. I'd rather get the centaur. So the centaur is going to come around to here. The centaur has range, so we only need to get to this location. <laughs> so yeah, so and that's good because the scroll is going to be up here, and then the scroll is actually moving to here next turn. So the centaur will be in position with the assassin. Oh, well, the assassin can't actually help, but it will be in position to take out the scroll next turn. So, yeah, there's just a lot of stuff going on. We can actually pretty much get started. The, the, the only other thing to talk about is the warrior here. Basically, the warrior, his, his card says that he's got to get to space 57, which is up here. Okay, it's quite a way. It's not too far, but the, he has to actually bring two peasants with him. So his plan is to go bam, 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 at least to here, but I'd prefer to get to this location so the the well does get refreshed. So yeah, there's a pretty, pretty hardcore. Anyway, that is the end of that. I'm just going to load this up one more time to make sure that I've got all the monsters in the correct position, and then we will get started, man. Okay, so it is... Oh, uh, also, there's one slight change with the setup. While I was planning my move off camera, I did sort of readjust slightly the gold. At During the setup, we had five gold to distribute among the heroes, so I gave two to the warrior, two to the archer, and two to the centaur. Okay. So we're starting off and we are going to just move one hour and yink straight down here into the merchant and we're not going to pick up the rune stone. We then spend that two gold and we are going to buy the shield. You blam. And that be the end of his turn. It's now the centaur. Remember the centaur we're trying to get over here. So what I would like to do is pick up this location here. That will give him an extra one movement for, it'll give him one will after we use the, we burn the more movement. But the thing is, I think it's going to add so much time. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven will only get us to 16, which isn't good enough. So I'm going to have to do this. So I'm going to go one, two into this location. Flip a Rooney. Okay, it's a event. It'll shuffle the, the deck and draw. Booyah. A mysterious illness strikes a farmer down. Choose one farmer token not already in the castle and return it to the game box. Well, this is why I buy shields on turn one if I can. Yeah, blam. Because that just cancels that. Because losing farmers is probably the worst thing that can happen. <laughs> anyway, so much of that. Bam. Okay, we now have the archer. For starters, at the beginning of his turn, he's going to pick up the herb. And then he's going to go one and just pick up the farmer. Now he could just go uh, one, two, three, four straight to the merchant, which is where we're heading. But I don't really know how this is going to play out because I don't know what's coming out of these locations. These two locations have got monsters in them. And if they come out with bad monsters, he's going to have to kill them. So 
I'm going to move this guy very, very slowly and this guy very, very slowly so they have as much time track as possible to, uh, to deal with upsets. Anyways, but we are picking up this farmer. You can actually pick up farmers without stopping, which is unusual. I didn't really even know that until just recently. Okay, this guy here is going to go one, two into this area. Flip this and pick up both of these. Bammo. Beautiful, and they're different colors, and we get plus three from the well. Okay, so that's the first round. Again, we're moving slowly. We could move this guy a lot faster, but like I say, I always prefer to move slowly if I can. I just find it gives me more freedom. Okay, and this guy, he's going to go... Okay, so if we go into this location here, we're going to add an extra hour to the day. So we're going to go through this gap and go blam. It's one extra hour. It's another event card. Be a good event card this time, please. Yeah, bam! Nope. Take the wealth token from Space 45 and return it to the game box. Monsters pollute the well at the foot of the mountain. So this is this one here. I really wanted to keep this. Uh, no, I want to keep that. It's vital to my plan that I worked out. So I'm actually going to have to cancel that as well. So I've already used my shields. Awesome. Not. Okay, green. He's going to go one and not... Uh, actually, I forgot. Uh, we picked up those rune stones up in here, of course. So we now have a scroll. And I'm just going to mark them with the token to remind me that it is the scroll of legend, so to speak. But the point is, now that we've actually picked up that scroll, we can pick up the rune stones without having to worry about them. So that's a green one. We already have a green one, so that is not very good. So that's one more movement for green. And now we have white's turn. So white has quite a lot of choice here. Basically, this guy's got one, two, three. That's going to take him to one, two. That's going to take him to six. So I don't really know what I'm going to do with him. I'm just going to go one, two. No, I'm not. I'm going to go one, two, three. Uh, I'm just going to do it one at a time. So I'm just going to go one into this space. Just give me some choice. Bam. Okay, blue is now going to go here. Brown is going to go to this one. Don't be a... Oh, it's another event. Be a good one, please. Dark clouds block the sun, causing all heroes to feel strangely ill. During the current day, heroes cannot continue to the 10th hour. Okay, so we are... Stuck at nine hours max. Now, have I done something? I think we must be at four. Have I done something wrong here? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, yeah, so we're at five. It's got to recount sometimes because I'm terrible at moving my little things. This guy's only on two. Yeah, so we go three. And this guy is going to go one. And then this guy is going to go one, two. And pick up both of these things. Okay. Okay, three. So basically there's four point herbs and three point herbs. 
we uh, so one of our quests, uh, this guy over here, has to actually discard a herb. So we want to get him to discard the three herb because a four herb is too valuable. So just check his movement. He's gone one, two, three, four, five, and he's on five. Okay, excellent. Okay, this guy gets one more. Flip. Oh, it's another event. Be a good event, please. The party chooses one hero. That hero loses one strength point. If all heroes only have one strength point, nothing happens. The adventure takes its toll. Wow, we haven't got a single positive thing. I guess I'm going to take a strength point from this guy because he's the only one not doing combat this day. Wow, and that takes him to six, I believe. Green is now going to move into the... Uh, you know, the the merchant and we're going to buy the hawk for two gold okay I'm kind of betting the farm on this one okay so he's gone to four white now goes down one and reveals oh you get plus one strength excellent So let's just check his numbers. He went one, two, three, four, five. So he's on five. Okay, blue is now got one, two, three. One, two, three takes him to eight. But we do flip over the well. This is why I spent the extra shield to do this, because he gets five, one, two. Two, three, four, five takes him to 12, and then he spends two, one, two, which means he's still plus three even after taking that extra hour. It's pretty awesome. Okay, and now this guy is now going to attack. So he's attacking with range, he's attacking with range versus the gore. Okay, so we roll one die at a time. Come on, let's do better than a one, shall we? Yeah, that's what I like. Come on, another six would be perfect. Nope, a six. We're going to get to roll two die. Well, three is better than one. So we end up with six plus three plus two strength plus three strength which equals a total of 14. Whew, okay. We want to kill this guy in one go. Okay, that's five, six, seven. We've got 14, which means the gore is dead. So bam, the first gore of the game is destroyed. And we're going to take one will point and one gold coin because it's got a reward of two. Now we also move this up. So let's move these over here. The prince comes out. He goes into space 72. Remember, he cannot help the ranger at all. And flip, place a medical herb on space 61. That's nice. No monster is good. And each gore who occupies space 16 to 36 and move it once in the direction of the arrow. Oh. Six. That's nine. So he moves. 21. He moves. Okay. So that is horrendously bad. So we have one, two, three. One, two, three. We might just be able to pull this out, assuming this is something good. Oh, wow. That is horrendous. So these guys attack together, so they've both gone up like that. 
Okay, green is going to go one space and flip this one over. So please, it's yellow, which is the perfect color. So we're going to send the, we're going to drop the green and pick up the yellow. Beautiful. That's one more point of movement for green. And white now, we've got one more point of movement for white. So we may as well move to here just so it's easier to move next turn. And we're also going to move this guy one point to here. One, two, flip. That gives him a wine skin. Excellent. Where the hell is the, is the witch? We've picked up like a billion fog tokens and still no witch. Okay, so he's going to drop this in his square. And grab the wine skin. That's actually perfect. Bam. Oh, and we also have to spend two, one, two. But because we've got plus five, we're still positive one. We started at seven, so not too bad. This guy is just going to pass. Back to green. He's now going to go one, two into the castle. Okay, he's made it to the castle, so he's going to drop the herb and the peasant. Peasant goes here. So we've got our two shields. And then he's going to use his hawk. So instead of dropping the herb, he's going to use the hawk to send the four point herb to here and take the two rune stones. Now he's got the red die. Booyah. So let me just recount his movements. That's one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven. Wow, this is really tight. White is going to pass. Blue is going to use his wine skin to move. I actually looked it up on the rules. You can use the wine screen. The, the wine skin can be used during your move action but you don't need to initiate the action. So you don't need to spend one hour to use the wine skin. You can just tap it straight away and move. So he's going to tap it once and move and bam. Still no witch, but we do get two strength points, which is quite nice. One, two. And we don't move for that. Perfect. This guy has passed. We're now on green and it's all down to this. So, for starters, he's going to spend two will, one, two. That means he only gets to roll three dice, but it doesn't matter because he's actually going to roll the black die. So he's only get to get to get to do one roll. So we want a big roll. Come on, big roll! Come on! Ugh. Six is not a big roll. So that is six plus two equals eight. That's all we have. So unless unless we roll like a really low number, we're stuffed. We want like twos. Come on. Oh, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And wow, that is amazing. So we got eight. He rolled a two. He has four health. So... Four minus four, we actually did it. That is unbelievable. He's dead. <laughs> that is, wow, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, we're going to stick that in hand. And we move up one more. And he's going to use his other wine skin. And just go your blammo. And he gets one gold. 
Well, it's a real shame we had that uh, card here because he could just spend two more and be in there and complete his turn. Okay, white's passed, blue just took his turn, black, brown's passed, and now yellow, green is going to go one more time, so that's two. Whoa. <laughs> one, two, this is intense. Okay. Right, so let's go again. Yablamo, 12. Okay, so that is very nice. 12 plus 2 is 14. I think we're definitely going to win this one. Bam, bam. Don't get doubles. Another 2. That's unbelievable. So we actually pulverize this guy as well. We've killed 2 guys by himself, which means we've completed this face ca fate card. Bam. Now we move up to here place one gore in 15 and one gore in 26 15 is up here god and 26 is right down here okay and everyone's going to pass so we'll just flip them down Wow, that was the opening turn. It was pretty full on. We really stretched ourselves. I can't believe how much of the map we revealed and we still haven't gotten the witch. And we had some really bad fake cards and we managed to, and we canceled two of them. Wow, that was just horrible. Okay, so let's draw the next event card. Boom. Ah. Place one shield in space 57. A hero who occupies or enters space 57 receives the shield. That is absolutely brilliant because we are heading in there next turn. Boom. About time a positive one came out. Now the gores move. So that gore is gone. So that huge big chain movement is now broken. But this guy comes down. And this guy goes up one. Now we have the scroll movement. He moves one, two into this location. Then we have the cat movement, which moves him into this location. Now the trolls move. So it's uh, 29. Why do you move the lower ones first, don't you? So it's 23, 29, 36. Bam. And then the cat gets a second movement, which takes him to six. Finally, we unflip all the wells. And we move this up one more time. Place one gore in 43 and one skull in 42. 43 and 42. So the situation is done. Just quickly go to options and change the turns. We now got the brown guy is going to be first. Like so. Because he's in the, the spot. So that was a pretty hardcore opening day you can see the prince basically did nothing we've got one use of the prince because he's disappearing after we kill something this round now again we want this guy to go away and this guy to go away which basically means wow yeah, so we have to kill one of these trolls next turn. We have to kill this Skrull at least. So this troll's getting in next turn. This guy's getting in next turn. That means we have to kill this guy here. So we've got to kill at least one, preferably two. We want to use this while we can. So if maybe if I can get, if I can get the prince to here and we can get all these guys so is 13, I think 13, that 13 looks like I can 
attack 48. I mean, that looks like I can, I can do range across there. I'm not sure. I have to check that. But if I can get the Prince 1, 2, 3. So if I can kill this troll with the Ranger and both of these guys. That'll be really good. I'd still need to kill. So I need to do two deaths this turn. I need to kill the troll first. Because as soon as this goes here, we lose the troll. Okay, well, that is the end of that round. Oh, intense. I'll see you guys next time.